So you have seen that the drones are um, allowing us to capture some trades with much more accuracy, with much more higher throughput. And they allow us to capture some trades that would you know, be impossible to capture in a breeding program using traditional methods. So the throughput, the accuracy, and you know, the ability to capture additional traits has been a game changer for plant breeding. Uh, we use a range of cameras to capture you know, a plethora of traits. Um, so we can use a visual camera to pick up simple traits such as plant height or canopy cover. And we have some sophisticated uh, sensors to pick up much more complicated traits such as uh, multispectral vegetation indices. Um, and then we can pick up the canopy temperature using a thermal camera, which gives us an idea of uh, how um, much water the crop is using. And we can use some uh, hyperspectral um, sensing to you know, pick up much more uh, complicated traits. Uh, it would depend on uh, what we are, what so what sort of trade we are trying to capture from a trial, but it would range anywhere between four to five times. So it, it differs a bit um, to a traditional approach where you capture one trade at the end of the season, but with the drones we can capture the trades at multiple time points, and that allows us to get a much better idea of how the genotype is, is, is doing in the, in, the, in the actual is actually doing in the field. This year, what we have seen is that the drone offers benefits such as improved genetic gain in the early stages of, the, of breeding, and also they help us to you know, improve the precision of uh, field trials. So this year, we are focused on uh, implementing the drones in the uh, northern regions, in Burdekin, in Ingham, and uh, Meringa. But in the next two years, the uh, strategy is to um, implement the phenomics technology in the Bundaberg station. We have narrowed down on Richard to do the uh, flying, so he will be a, a drone pilot. Um, so the idea is that Richard would fly his crop, capture the images, um, and then upload it into a cloud database. And then, the, um, and then we would come in and uh, uh, process those images and give the data back to Roy and Richard to make selection decisions.